What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Social Sig vlog. Today is Friday, March 15th, 2024. Um, I hadn't vlogged in the last like two weeks. I uh, just kind of got a little bit busy and um, uh, yeah, just kind of trekking along with everything. But uh, yeah, things are going swell. Um, I uh, Let's see, I feel like the last I vlogged was before the Cooperage show. But uh, the Cooper show, is, was it the Cooper show? I don't even know. It, it's kind of, March has been flying by as all these months have. But um, yeah, I guess um, where to start? Uh, the Cooper show is a really, really fun show. Uh, really great time with Eli, Isaac, and Kai. Um, really awesome turnout at the Cooper A freaking blast of a show. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for all, all so much for coming out. Uh, I was a little nervous going into it. I think we're at like 55 pre-sales. And then that day we ended up selling like 180 tickets, which was fucking awesome. Um, but it, the Cooper is just kind of a goofy uh, show to like, it's 21 plus, it's a venue, I mean, uh, 21 plus, And then it's also kind of in a weird spot, but it also has a really good walk up. So um, yeah, it was quite a blast. And I do get in my head uh, before like some of these bigger shows like am am i still relevant in the milwaukee scene like do people even care anymore sort of thing and i felt like i did a really good job promoting it so um yeah thank you guys so much for coming out it definitely squashed a lot of some in, in, intrusive thoughts that i had about everything so um that was a blast um but yeah i guess just like kind of continuing with booking a lot um still in a really good routine um, I got sick a little bit, um, I guess the other day I've been running a little bit more. Um, I'm kind of just jumping all over the place. Uh, this last weekend, no shows this last weekend, <laughs> right? Jeez. Um, yeah, <laughs> no shows, but, uh, really? What did I do this last week? I don't even know. But on Sunday, I uh, recorded a Quick Chip promo video because um, I am sponsored by Quick Chip. Uh, it's a, a deliverable that I have to make reels for them um, in the six month contract that we have. So that was a blast making a, a chicken promo video. And they sent me a box with all these cool goodies. You, I posted that on my Instagram story, but one of these is a little chicken. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny, a little chicken keychain. And a bunch of free chicken stuff so they're really hooking it up so that's been really cool um and uh it was a really fun video to make i'm glad it, it got um a lot of people loved it and uh crab cake we are making into a star um crab cake has been well um he just was on meds maybe like early march uh because his neck was in pain and kind of like he tweaked something supposedly and we're trying to figure it out but um, he's been off meds for the last week now and he's uh, had no squeaks of pain, which is really good. It makes me and Sheila feel amazing because when he is in pain, it, it just like, ah, crushes me and I get all anxious and so does she. And um, So he's been good. So fingers crossed, knock on wood. He's been uh, awesome. Um, he's the sweetest little boy. Um, and yeah, just continuing booking this West Coast tour, kind of getting that uh, all good to go. Last week, I was really focused on uh, recording and finishing up uh, Teenager, which is a song that is coming out April 5th. Um, you can hit the pre-save link down in the link below. I'll put it, uh, the pre-save link really helps out with um, boosting the song and getting it noticed in the algorithm before it releases. So if you guys do that, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Um, but if not, um, yeah, you can, uh, I guess April 5th, it's going to come out. So I'll definitely post about that. Uh, really excited to release this song. I've had it written slash we've been playing it since 2019. It's been, um, one of my favorite songs to play live. And, uh, I just, for whatever reason, I always thought it wasn't a social sig song. It's kind of like in the percept or the point of view of a teenager of like me and my angsty teenage years and, um i always felt like that wasn't like the kind of market like i don't know i just got in my head about that like um like all our only teenagers gonna listen to the song but after playing more and more like so many people like my parents and um friends they're just like yeah the song is so fucking dope and i really enjoy playing it myself so um yeah just started playing more and uh got it recorded with jake bean boy who uh henbest who worked on in the pocket with me 
So that was a really fun, quick project we did. We got Kai's drums on there, which feels really good. And um, yeah, really stoked about it coming out. It sounds fucking sick. So sounds very close to how we play it live too, which is really gnarly. Um, so that was a lot of last week. Um, and this week I got a lot of good booking stuff done. Just getting my spring schedule all set. Um, booking, like I said, this West Coast tour, I do have um, a few cities confirmed, so um, you can check him. I actually just have them all updated on my website right now, but not a lot of info on him other than the, the city and the date and the venue. But if you go to my website in the link below in upcoming shows um, or tour dates, um, you can see the, um, I guess, future shows coming up. So that's going to be really cool. Um, really excited for those. And I guess I can read them off. So Minneapolis on May 25th, La Crosse May 24th, or sorry, uh, I just got that all mixed up. <laughs> La Crosse on May 24th, Minneapolis May 25th. Ah, shoot, I'm just going to have you, I'm just going to be a long list, but <laughs> you guys can just go check out the link. I'm not going to go through it, but really stoked going all the way up to Seattle, Olympia, Portland, down to Los Angeles, San Diego, um, and then over to Phoenix, uh, stopping through the Grand Canyon. So it's kind of like a road trip slash tour, really spread out over a month. Um, it's going to meet be me, Sheila, and Crab Cake is coming along with us. So we're really like preparing, making sure we have everything, the, uh, getting the van all good to go. Um, and really trying to do it on a budget by like getting, um, being really good about um, not going out to eat as much, but making food, maybe bringing some camping stuff as well. Um, it's gonna be an adventure for sure. So I wanna try to uh, document it as best as possible, take as much footage. I'll probably clear out my phone uh, for footage and stuff and try to take as much as possible on the road. And then maybe all this summer, I'll kind of release it um, slowly. So. Um, yeah, I guess it's gonna be a fun thing to follow along with kind of just being on the road with my dog and my girlfriend and doing shows uh, It's gonna be a blast. So can't complain and uh, so yeah through Denver then and uh, Kansas City and then Chicago, so um, it's been a Booking especially in cities I've never been before is always like kind of um, What is it like? I don't know not deterring but you can get bummed out when like a venue just says like you send this nice long message and then they're just like not interested by um it's just like ah oh, shit but uh lots of no's but all the like the yeses like i was telling sheila yesterday like when i do get a yes like a con confirmation it's the best feeling like especially um like yesterday bozeman um montana like never been there before i know some friends there but i've been trying to book a show there and it's a very small city so um, on like a Tuesday, put on my Instagram story of like some more cities that I'm trying to book and some people recommended this venue called Hofbrau. I looked them up on this Indie on the Move website that gives me all these contact information of all this, these venues and um, there's a number on there with a guy named Bill. I shot him a text and I was like, hey, coming through on this date, um, looking to put a show together, like, can we do something? And he's like, yes, um, would love to have you, a hundred bucks um to play um it'll be from like 10 until 1 a.m so at this like dive bar so that's going to be a more of a show where it's like acoustic set probably i won't use my backing tracks for that kind of vibe just acoustic and probably throw some covers in there um just to fill up that long three hour cover period but i like literally a bozeman montana city i've never been before gonna bring some friends out but like um yeah, it, it, I, I, it's going to be a, a mixture of like some fun shows like that. And like Spokane, Washington, really just kind of going across like the upper middle of America, like through Montana and then through Washington. But uh, Spokane is in between Washington and Bozeman. So it's a good like in between. We'll probably like find a hotel or uh, likely maybe camp if it's nice out. But um, there's an open mic on Wednesday then. So we're going to do the open mic because, like, I don't know a person in Spokane, uh, Washington. So um, it'll be fun just to do the open mic, maybe meet some locals, slap some stickers on the bathroom, uh, maybe sell some merch if people want to support me. But 
uh, play a song or two. So um, I, th I think like for a city like that, I can't ask for much, but like doing an open mic still, I guess helps out a little bit, you know? Um, and then getting over to Washington, which um, I'm really excited about because we have some friends that live there. Um, they have a big house and uh, basically Sheila's old roommates, Joey, Alex, and Alex's girlfriend, Ada, who we're all friends with. Haven't seen them in a long time since they moved out there. Really stoked to see them. It's going to be fun. And um, yeah, doing a show on that Thursday. Um, I was able to join a bill at a place called Blue Moon and then um, maybe doing a show in Tacoma on Friday and then I have a show in Olympia on Saturday. So and Olympia is like an hour and a half ish away from Washington or Seattle. So my plan is like Seattle's going to be the home base from Thursday until Monday. But from like Friday, I'm going to try to shoot over to Tacoma. And then on Saturday, I'm going to shoot over to Olympia, but then like come back that night to Seattle, kind of hanging out until Monday, Tuesday morning, driving to Portland, playing a show there. Um, so yeah, it's all coming together. Um, but also, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be quite an adventure. So very much looking forward to it. Um, kind of a bummer. We are missing some shows. There are missing some show opportunities in Milwaukee. Um, like Locust Street Fest, we did get um, an offer from Jim Linneman because last year got rained out, um, but uh, it's June 9th. It doesn't make sense to like fly back. Um, so th can't do that. And then also Summer Solstice, I think is on like the 15th or something like that. So, and we got asked to play that. Can't do it because um, I'm getting back on the 20th. So, but whatever. It's kind of planning for next year. Um, what else? Kind of tentatively booking right now, like a, a fall tour even too. So, and it's been really cool to look at all these cities and be like, oh, I know people in these areas now because last, I guess, last fall we did that East Coast tour or headed out to the East Coast and back tour. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, been really great to like hit up these people um, can't believe it's already been like almost a year, I guess. Um, can't believe it's almost been a year since uh, me and Sheila went to Europe last April um, into May. So like, that feels like not a year ago, but uh, things have been flying. Things have been good. <clears throat> so yeah, everything's coming together booking wise. Um, still growing my Patreon. So I, what I've started to do is uh, to make it a little bit more of a uh, exclusive sort of thing. Uh, if you subscribe to my Patreon, which uh, you can find that in the link below, um, you will be able to find my tour journal with photos. So I'm going to try to do like each for each show, posting like behind the scenes photos or like all the photos that we get from that show. And then like writing just like a debrief of the show. Um, I think is a, is a really cool thing. I guess I kind of get an exclusive, like how that show went specifically and what I was feeling and like little stories and tidbits that happened. So um, that's gonna be in the Patreon. Also, I just found out that I can put a full song on Patreon too. So I'll start doing that too for like unreleased stuff. Um, some stuff maybe I won't release. Um, I'll probably put that on the Patreon. So uh, the Patreon really supports this project and me financially. So um, thank you guys if you are subscribed to the Patreon um, and even just like watching this video supports me um, and coming to shows, buying merch and all that stuff. But um, really, uh, really trying to push the Patreon for this next year um, to for support me as a full-time musician. So plug in that right there. Um, also, I'm looking to reshape the podcast lately. Um, I've just felt like it's been a little bit, like, a little dull, a little, like, maybe I'm not mostly, like, super invited. I am, but I'm not, you know. I think it could be better. Um, I think that instead of, like, a more interview style, just, like, one-on-one -on -one conversation, I want to link it into, like, a nice consumable, like, 45-minute thing with different segments. So... Uh, potentially bringing on a co-host. I've been talking with my buddy Nick Cohenhorst, who is a really good friend of mine um, and a really fun dude to just chit-chat with. So, And he's a video producer. So 
I think that we're going to maybe try to do something. I want to also make the podcast section more of like a like a lounge instead of a table. So I think that'll be nice. Holding microphones rather than the stand. So um, just making it a little bit more welcoming, especially for video wise. And then also like I get a little drained out uh, with these longer podcasts um, throughout the week and then editing them. So um, really just reshaping it. And then in the segments, either having like, maybe I'm going to put these vlogs in there. Um, or maybe, uh, I don't know. Yeah, still kind of figuring it out. Um, I do like how these vlogs are a little bit separate. You can just find them nice and easy. But um, just uh, what really inspired me was a, a po new podcast I've been listening to. Uh, they're called The Inspired Unemployed. Two dudes from Australia who have been making videos on Instagram. Um, just goofy, relatable content sort of thing. And these guys are, are just freaking hilarious. Um, those Aussies just know how to have a good time. And um, they shape their podcasts in like a segmented way where it's like 20, maybe 15 minute bits of like sections. So, um, and really well like edited together rather than just like a long form conversation. I think I, I like, I don't know. I like that form. I've been just like soaking up their episodes the last few weeks here so um yeah so that's something i'm working on um uh, making it better for you guys um hopefully and uh just constantly improving that way um merch i finally found a design i've been working with a uh designer uh shout out sam larcheed i think is how you pronounce his last name perhaps um Let's see here if I can pull it up. Ba, 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 ba. Sam Larchied. This isn't the final design because I have some uh, edits I want to make, but um, kind of went back and forth with him a bunch on how I want some t-shirt designs. Here, maybe I'll show you these old ones. Ah, I don't have them easily accessible. Um, but these I'm really excited about. So these will be on a t-shirt design. I always wanted like a cool sort of like scene happening. And we started with this like social sig one. I really like that. And then we put it on like an oval and then I put it on a t-shirt and I thought the t-shirt just didn't look, it didn't look great with like that big oval design. So even just like this would be kind of cool on a t-shirt, but I just wanted something a little bit more flavorful. I've always loved these like little like cartoon doodles with like a little scene. Um, so I sketched up a really like sloppy looking version of this and then he just took it and this was like the first one that he sent back and I was like, dude, this is sick. So shout out Sam Larcheed, hit him up for any design needs. Um, I've always tried to find like a cool design that really felt like what I represent, I guess, like, I don't know. And it was really great to work with him on this. Um, I've tried to, my hand in doing st stuff myself and I just never am super satisfied. So um, really stoked on this, um, doing a, gonna do like a, a merch run this hopefully early summer. And then hopefully doing like something in a, online with like merch drops um yeah it's just been like i've been so busy with other stuff i was just talking with max of diet light last night we grabbed a drink but like just so busy with booking and stuff that i don't have time to to try to work on this merch stuff so um uh, and i really want to make it good so that's why it's been taking a while so um it will happen and um we'll get there slowly but surely but um yes um what else um playing madison tonight so i guess upcoming shows uh playing madison tonight at um the madison manor which is a diy house show um so if you guys are seeing this dm for address it's gonna be a blast really looking forward to the show it's gonna be a, a ripper i think it's gonna be pretty crazy never been to this diy oops never been to this diy venue before so um yeah it should be fun doing a three-piece set with Kai on drums and then Anthony Kipchinski on bass. Um, it's so fun to jam with Anthony. Um, it's uh, He's played bass with us before. I don't know why this is. I'm doing a little bit new of a setup with this. Um, so that's been dope. 
uh, Anthony's the man. And then I'm doing a solo set in Stevens Point, playing for the first time uh, Saturday. So looking forward to spending the day in Madison and then hanging out. Sheila's seeing her friend and her friend has a dog, Arthur, as well, who we're staying with tonight. And um, so just kind of spending the weekend in Madison, but then I'm driving to Stevens Point. Might stay there with the band, playing with a band called Shibi. Might stay there, or I might just drive back to Madison and catch um, a band called Lunar Moth, who I'm friends with. They freaking rip. Um, they're playing a show at Mickey's at midnight, so maybe I'm going to try to make that. So I guess we'll see um, how the night goes. And um, yeah, it's going to be a fun weekend. Um, yeah, I don't know. Something about just hanging out in Madison is uh, always fun. Getting some coffee and like working on some shit. Like It's a fun city. I like the energy there. And, um, what else was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, for upcoming shows, uh, next Milwaukee show is Mad Planet on March 30th, 15 days away. Um, going to be super freaking fun. Mad Planet is the best dance bar in Milwaukee, so come boogie. Uh, come boogie your butts off. And then um, the next Milwaukee show after that, the big one, is going to be Vivarium. Uh, Vivarium. The new Pap Theater venue. Um, very looking forward to it. It's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be really, really fun with uh, Motel Breakfast, Well and Good, and then Duane and Micah Emmerich, um, who are some really close friends of mine g growing up. Um, well, Duane more so, but I see Micah all the time. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really fun show. So please come out, buy tickets. It, uh, it's likely gonna sell out. I'm going to start promoting it like crazy this these next few weeks here. So um, I'm sure you'll you'll see it in some capacity. So um, all right, I think that's it. Um, I think there's something else I wanted to talk about this last week, but things have just been flying by. Uh, but things are good. Um, yeah, staying healthy and writing a bunch, which is good. Um, not so much music, but just writing every day. Um, trying to draw more um and uh yeah things are in swing so hope you guys are doing well too um hope to see you at a show sometime uh shoot me a message if you want to say what's up or if you have any questions or on a show or anything like that um definitely be in touch uh but love you guys hope to see you soon and uh yeah happy march and uh yeah love you bye